start it. Start it. <laughs> All right. Well. Okay. Well, we have the dogs. I don't know how to. Wait. Okay. Right. Molly. Hey. Look up here. Okay. There's Molly. Kirby and then Ruby is in the back. Molly hates Kirby. That's why she's all the way over here. Um, Ruby is just taking up a whole lot of space. Like there's a spot for her to go right behind Zivia, but she doesn't. And then Kirby's just laying there with her. It's blurry, how? Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, she has all that room back there. She's in the middle of the seat. And we're going to get coffee. That sucks. Okay, we're going to get coffee. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I wanted to show you guys really quick. These are the pears that I picked with the grandkids yesterday. They are looking so nice. So you guys might remember that Sam uh, pruned the tree last year at the end of the year uh, because we were only getting like little tawny gross pears and it worked. We're not getting as many this year, but we're getting big ones. So we are one day away from my family get together. These are my current stalkers. Uh oh. Current stalkers. <laughs> Actually, I have food for you. I should go get it. Leftover spaghetti. You want it? I'll go get it. We're in the process of getting everything ready for tomorrow. Actually, the day that you guys are watching this, but if you're watching it the day it comes out, is the day that our party, we're having our party. I'm going to vlog it. You guys have met my family before and I'm excited, or some of my family. I'm gonna have Sam dig up my garden because it's all done. I've got everything like taken out now, pretty much. It's just a big old mess. I love that I got it out early, but we, Sam and I planted, I don't know if you can see. We planted all of our raspberry bushes. You guys see them along the fence line? So we planted along both these fences. So hopefully, we've been watering them like crazy. He'll water them again tonight. Hopefully, with any luck, um, we'll have lots of raspberries next year. They might not produce a lot next year, but we should have lots next year. I'm excited, raspberries are one of my favorites. Listen, I'm so glad you love me. <laughs> I'm so glad you trust me. Even the little guineas. I didn't think I'd like guineas, but I love them. People say such horror stories about them, but if you raise them from chicks, then they're really nice. And they're really bonded with the turkeys. They're all really sweet together. Okay, so now everybody's in my garden. I don't think they've ever been in my garden before. He's in my in my garbage from the garbage gar garden garbage. Anyway, Sam has been outside for the last two days. He cut all the grass everywhere. Every day we do a little bit more and we just get everything all cleaned up. I'm excited, I can't wait. Even the girls who are teenagers teenagers don't love everything but they love this they love this get together my grandkids won't be here so Brand brooklyn and jacob moved three hours away and the two that were here yesterday live two hours away so it's hard to like it's hard to see them all the time brooklyn and jacob were trying to arrange it so that they can come before the end of the summer i just have to firm up the date they can't come on the weekend so it has to be during the week every time i throw food for the chickens when the dogs are out the dogs eat it Oh, anyways, I wanted to give you guys a little update on Kirby. Kirby! <laughs> she sees it. Watch, she'll jump right up. Oh, Kirby, I think Kirby could be a chicken, chicken chaser in the making. Here. <laughs> Ellie will eat it. All right. Kirby, Kirby, that's not for you. See? No, thank you. No, thank you. Come on. She's honestly one of the best dogs. She sleeps in her room on the floor. She doesn't do anything bad in the night. She doesn't pee and poop in the house anymore. Well, she doesn't do it at all. This is a hunter. Yeah, she's a hunting dog, that's for sure. Come. Chickens love pasta. Like, they love it. Anyway, still, still in the honeymoon period. I don't know if it's going to change, but she's doing so good. So uh, the turkeys can hear me through the window. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them. See her. I think it's a her. Wait, let me see. She's calling to me. <laughs> she's calling to me. She's like, bring me more snacks. I miss you. Come on, Laura. 
I swear, if there were no doors on houses, these birds would be in our house, but I love it. Come, she says. Uh-oh. Dad is not gonna like that. Get off the truck. Go and play with your friends. <laughs> Go, you can't just sit there. <laughs> staring in the house. I love her. She's just sitting there in the shade on the back of Sam's truck. <laughs> I have to be careful when we leave sometimes that she's not in there somewhere. I knew I was gonna like turkeys. Hi baby, where's your other sister? I see some tall legs back there. They must belong to her. Hi sweet girl. For lessons today, I got cupcakes for a snack. Everybody's out here. All right, so we are out here. Um, this is my niece and she's having a lesson on Storm. And he's super fast, like always. <laughs> Super fast, super forward. I've been feeling stuck here lately. Think I might be going crazy. Your song on repeat on my radio. Your song on repeat on my radio. Now you've been away for so long. And I'll be fighting feelings so strong. Your song on repeat on my radio. Your song on repeat on my radio. I need to get out. You're all I think about. My head is scratching her belly with you storm was so good for his lesson he's such a good boy like he's so calm and he's so good for that kind of a lesson he's such a particular horse though like he loves that he's so i was talking to the coach about like how gabby just sits on him and he throws a fit like he just she can't even like go for a walk in the woods he just throws a fit with her and the trainer was no, saying the walk, the walk on the trails is different it's no throw a fit with anyone. Oh, why? Because it's out in the open, he's excited, but he doesn't want to actually work with a rider on his back. And all the other horses are going. Oh, yeah, and it's probably a lot of that, like, none of our horses want, I mean, horses don't want to just, like, horses get excited when other horses are, are running and galloping. And why don't you have a mask on? You know, it's going to see a girl that has a mask on? Yeah, and then I put one on her. Yeah, because when I try and put one on her, she runs away. Keep Storm away from her so I can pick up. Well, how come Storm doesn't have one on now? He's had one on all day. It's going to be time to go in and see it. You're all sweaty. I put extra sunscreen on him for that lesson, and he did really good. He doesn't like the bugs. But the thing, so the trainer said good boy he liked that lesson so the trainer said that what Gabby needs to do is she needs to just get on him even use go on a lunge line let Gabby lunge let Sophie lunge him and remind Storm teach Storm that she's not going to boss him around she's not going to make him work because every time Gabby rides him she's going to like ride him so he's afraid that when Gabby sits on him she's going to like actually make a move and make him be busy and work so the trainer was like, just let Sophie lead line you a couple of times. Just sit there, let him go around and retrain him that you're not going to like push him all the time so that we can get to the point where you can go on a trail ride with you and not throw fits. I'm going to try it, you guys. We're going to see. But look, I cleaned up all this area and now there's like five poops here. But tomorrow is the day. Ugh. And then there's five down there. Tomorrow's the day that we have to get all ready. I have an idea where everybody can camp. Do you want to see? Yeah, uh oh, watch out. Somebody's beeline in it to you. Field? Yeah. I was thinking we could, like, so my family's going to sleep over. I was thinking we could put tents along the fence line, like all along in here. Everybody could have their own little area. The only problem is it's far to the bathroom. But I mean, when they sleep in the barn, it's far from the bathroom too. They don't even go to the bathroom, do they? No, not at night. You fuck it. Anyway, I think that's a good idea. We should put them out here. It's the end of August and suddenly all of our farm animals are fat. They're fat. So a little Mr. Man here, come here, <laughs> is not so, so bad. He's not so, so bad. He's like looking okay. But my pig got fat. <laughs> he loves you, Ellie. Ellie's like, I don't love him. He doesn't smell. People say like, boy pigs smell. He doesn't smell. Come on, Kirby. Anyway, I'm gonna explain. I'll tell you whose fault it was. It is, it's not my fault. 
Sam cut all this down today. Look at how green our grass is and it's August. Like it is so green still, but he cut this all down. We need to cut that down still, but I'm still undecided if I want the horses to eat it. Hey, get out of that muddy water. So a couple weeks ago, like maybe three weeks ago, we decided to leave the horses out all night long. I like my horses to have a little bit of fat on them because horses don't come out of winter in Canada chubby. So going into winter, I don't mind them having a little bit of extra meat on them to keep them warm. So three weeks ago, Sam said, I'm gonna leave the horses out all night. And we've never done that before. Like we've left them out, but we've never left them on grass. So I said, don't leave them on grass. If you leave them out, close off all the gate. That way they can be outside, but they're not eating the grass. They're not in the field. They're just like kind of in the dirt field or in where there's like a little bit of grass. And at first he did that and everything was fine. And then last night, I was looking at them and I was like, holy heck, you're all fat. Even Storm is fat. Even Storm, and Storm never gets fat. And so I said to Sam, like, what the heck? Like, they're not eating all night. It'd be different if they were eating all night. And he said, well, what do you mean? And I said, well, you closed the gate, right? And he said, no, I did at first, but they're fine. So he's been leaving them outside. So instead of eating like 12 hours a day or 15 hours a day, they're eating like 24 hours a day and they all just popped, they just ballooned. So, and none of them are really like working super hard. Ladies like working their hardest, Storm does some lessons here and there. And so anyways, I noticed today, they, I noticed yesterday actually, they all are fat. So everybody's on a diet, Posey Pig, like they just all ballooned at the same time. So Posey Pig, what happened to her is that I started feeding the goats outside in the morning because it takes so long for them to eat. Feed the goats like about 20 minutes before I let her outside. <sighs> when she comes out, there's always still grains. She's eating her grain, she's eating their grain, and then she's eating whatever the heck she eats outside. So I had to, so everybody's on a diet, you guys. The day by day farm is all on a diet. Not the puppy though. The dogs are all looking good. Come on. Except for Ellie's hair. And by diet, I just mean that we're going back to the way it was. Like we're just kind of reducing a little tiny bit. Like the, the horses are locked in now at night, not in the barn. I don't want them locked in. They still have free, they can still roam all around. They just can't get out into the pasture. And I accommodated little Miss Piggy. She get, little Miss Piggy's getting a little bit less grain so that they can accommodate all the food that she's eating while she's out there scavenging and stealing other people's foods. So yeah, that happened, but I'm always watching and I'm always making sure and none of them are like dangerously fat But I want to step in now and make sure that they're okay. Make sure everybody's okay But I need to step in now because we still have months of grass left Months of grass season like at least two more months of grass season Maybe even three anyway, that is it for today's video. All we did today We worked so hard like getting stuff ready cleaning the house I did a lot of cleaning the house and Sam did a lot of cleaning the yard and my niece Kennedy had um lessons i told you guys ladies shoes are falling off so sophie doesn't want to ride her until the farrier comes but the farrier comes on monday so that worked out perfectly so that is it for today we'll see you guys tomorrow tomorrow is party day and i am excited we are all so excited don't you know that you're beautiful